Hi guys, one proud penguin here to talk to you about a thing called the compass and how to use it in GeoGuessr in order to pinpoint things. So a few months ago I was shown by my dear and incredibly patient Twitch viewers how to use a compass uh, while playing GeoGuessr in order to pinpoint relatively featureless uh, locations and now I would like to pass my knowledge on to you in this quick tutorial. I hope we'll help you you know nail those 5ks and those tricky rounds it certainly has helped me in the past and that is the idea of this video one of the first things most players will learn about the compass is that it is extremely useful when it comes to narrowing down which hemisphere you are more likely to be in as the sun will be seen to the northern part of the sky when you're in the southern hemisphere and when you're north of the equator the sun should be somewhere in the south so here we have a location in Canada as an example to what I was just saying. Uh, we can see the white arrow pointing up, so that means that's where we're looking. And the sun is right there in the sky in the south. And now for comparison, I pulled up another location. We, uh, this time it's New Zealand, to not forget about our Kiwi bird friends. And there we can see the red arrow pointing straight up and same as the sun is right there in the sky new zealand is of course maybe more of an extreme example but that should be the gist of what you would see when traveling around in the southern hemisphere to those of you who didn't know about this consider it an extra hint but do remember that it's not 100 percent accurate as you will be playing the game this can only be somewhat trusted when you're looking at official google street view uh, footage it is somewhat consistent in a sense that google does try to send their uh, vehicles to take street view footage uh, during afternoon hours just for better quality and also to avoid traffic jams but you will find a lot of photospheres and you know non-professional uh, street view footage which will not necessarily be aligned correctly to the compass so it might be either slightly off or completely wrong so do keep that in mind going forward and making your guesses okay so as i mentioned in the beginning of this video the compass can be used for pinpointing things um, as well as telling which way is north or which hemisphere to send it to if you're feeling pressured and under time and in a competitive uh, circumstance but apart from that i have found five suitable locations to try and illustrate my point hopefully they they help me do that let's have a look at those i'll make sure to provide you links um, in the comments below okay so here we have our first location it's from a map called pinpointable world which is a collaborative map by some of the best geo guessers out there uh, let's try and pinpoint this i have found the city prior to sitting down to make this video just to save ourselves a little bit of time it's here in the south of poland um, there was a little bit of a hint uh, right here on the wall somewhere in the writing you were able to read the name of it but in any case, finding the city is not enough. We need to find the exact street where this is. I have the penguin already plonked in more or less the correct location. And now what we need to do is start pinpointing it to the road to see if it matches correctly. So the first thing as you're seeing I'm trying to do is just look straight down as much down as I can. There's no much, no further down that it can take me. So I'm looking directly below our feet. Uh, what you want to do next is make sure that the compass here uh, is pointing directly to the north. Now there is an option as I'm recording this video right here under the options tab uh, for you to go in and change the compass for it to be up there uh, instead of down here. Now obviously it's a different type of compass. It does still tell you where is north, where is east, south, etc. But it does take uh, some getting used to if you're more accustomed with a, let's call it old style compass. Although arguably this could be used uh, more accurately to pinpoint for the north since it does have little arrows to help you guide yourself. So whichever one you prefer, they work exactly the same when it comes to this. And I'll show you how. So where the penguin is, I think is the correct location, but let's double check. So we could see in the street view itself that the road was bending and it continues to bend and maybe it straightens out for a bit and then it bends again. Uh, so that's pretty much what's going on. Now, for all the bends in the maps, they're not exactly bends, but as you see, they're little tiny breaks of straight uh, sections. So all we need to find is which of those straight sections corresponds to the to the angle here and that should help us with a very very accurate sense so let's have a look I have the arrows pointed pretty much in the middle of the little letter n up there 
and if we just try to match it to let's say one of the road lines here in the middle we can see that this one up here doesn't really match but maybe almost we go a little bit further south this one looks to me a bit better now there's multiple ways of doing it you can do it with a middle line you can do it with a curb you can do it with a with whichever line is possible if i make the map smaller i can bring it over here and compare it to this line as well just to get some extra points of reference tricky thing about corners and curves is that you will need to zoom in quite a lot in order to find the right section of it and as you do the road tends to become relatively well let's just say thick um, and becomes a little bit more difficult to match to the road but you can still check for a parallel line like so it seems to match really really well so probably what is the safest thing to do here is see where the road bends a little tiny bit here and here and just choose the middle spot for a safety send shall we check if it's good well one way to find out and sure enough two meters off but we were on the correct section of the road and that is a good enough uh, send for a 5000 score let's have a look at another location shall we okay so here we have another location from pinpointable world uh let me turn around and give you a little bit of a preview of what we have here as the map name suggests all the locations should be pinpointable from where you start and indeed straight away we have a little city map information sign and the city name right up there Amiens, i believe it's how it's pronounced sorry if i get it wrong doesn't always happen that i get it right in french there we go i just left the penguin more or less there to not have to look for it it's north of paris and what we need to find here without having to study that map too much is a bridge effectively isn't it uh, i brought back the old compass let's have a look so if i point the compass north just looking like so the bridge is going slightly northeast so let's have a look for slightly northeast going bridges. There's one down here. I think that's a very good candidate. It could be this one, although, hmm, I'm not sure. Should check how the river goes, I suppose. Don't see. Maybe it is splitting up there. So could be a couple of candidates here or there. Now you will see some features being shown on maps, uh, even though it's a, it's a technical map. It's not a satellite image. Sometimes there will be separations or the middle of the road that help you tell if it's the correct street that you're looking at okay and if we start looking down to give ourselves a bit of a sense of if it could be the correct road i think i'm seeing already a very nice and parallel line running through the through the middle marking here through the dash line and to our map let's make the map a little bit smaller can also try and match it to the to the curb now obviously there's a shadow falling off of the curb but if i can imagine where the curb line is it does seem to match very very nicely and almost feels like a continuation of it uh when you do this on the map so it feels good uh could probably pinpoint it a little bit more by saying that i'm sort of closer to the bridge closer to the water than to the intersection that's just south so let's say it could be here the whole section is exactly at the same angle so it's up to you to choose more or less where you want to put it but depending on the size of the map uh you are given you know a sort of safety distance uh, for it still to be a perfect score on countryside maps it will never be less than 25 meters and it can only get more from there depending on how many countries are included in the map that you're playing so let's say i want to put it here and let's have a look how good it is yeah sure enough three meters that's absolutely fine uh helps me illustrate my point and let's have a look at the next one okay this next location i found in a map called bridges of the world it's also relatively pinpointable depending on the bridge that you get of course here we have both a us and a canadian flag hanging at each side of the bridge and to those of you more eagle-eyed you may have noticed that the us flag is indeed when we're traveling north and the canadian flag is when we're traveling south uh, knowing a little bit about the map you could probably tell that we should be around this area detroit and it is indeed ambassador bridge but let's say you didn't know all of that you didn't necessarily notice 
care or want to check which direction you are going from one country to another you just wanted to find the darn bridge and make sure that the angle was correct uh well we can again use exactly the same method as we did a moment ago make sure that the compass is pointing north and this time i'm going to use that white uh, lane marking to check for that let's zoom in a little bit more we can actually match the thickness for it to be exactly the same so yeah it all matches now of course a bridge is most likely going to be the same angle throughout i think that's how bridges work best but we need to choose where more or less on the bridge we are so we can see these um i don't know what's the correct term actually tower structures uh <laughs> helping support the bridge and i think we're coming close to the middle part here mm, give or take and if I was to eyeball it, that's that's pretty much correct. Uh, maybe a little bit closer to the to the U.S. side. I think we might be on the U.S. side of the border. But let's see if that's correct and if that's worthy of a five thousand points. Yep, sure enough, the map is definitely big enough for sixty six meters to be still five thousand points. But you know, this is this is the thing with using the compass for confirmation all of the bridge would have been correct uh, so it's up to you basically to determine more or less where it is sometimes you might be just a little bit too far away for that sweet perfect score um, so do try to well triangulate i suppose then let's continue to the next location okay and this is our next location it's in my home city of konas i just loaded up a map to be able to find a location quite quickly so let's have a look here uh i know that it's connecting to a bridge that's going from this neighborhood to that neighborhood so we should be on this intersection right here basically now in order to double check that i'm not lying we can again put the compass pointing north zoom 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 and check the angle of this road against the middle marking now you can see that the middle mar middle marking is being carried away a little bit uh by the blur of the google car but it's relatively parallel to itself so it shouldn't really influence the angle that that much but you might see slight differences so do be prepared for that there might be tolerances that you'll need to deal with and accept in order to convince yourself that it is indeed the correct place uh plus you know always say look for evidence looks like they maybe were doing some street renovations here maybe this this road has you know changed this ang its angle ever so slightly with widening of the sidewalks or something like that so you never really know what to expect but let's see if this is correct if i can save some phase by proving to you that this is right the angle seems slightly off but it should be this location so let's insist on it and let's see that the angle doesn't necessarily need to match 100 percent it is indeed not incorrect so it says that we were three meters that way off roading but yeah the angle can be off by you know a couple of degrees it doesn't match as well as i showed it to you in the previous rounds but with some faith one can send and one can 5k for sure okay and this is the final location that i've chosen and we find ourselves in norway uh to save ourselves a little bit of time i went ahead and checked the signs to see more or less we were in order to go ahead and try and pinpoint this little bit of road so let's zoom 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 what is hemsdal uh, this is the town that we're just entering and i believe we are here more or less now how do we check that again point the compass up to the north bring up the road and see if it fits uh, we do have the side line which is in white up there and as i drag the road we can see that it all fits pretty pretty well so let's zoom in and see up until which point and i see there's a bit of a twist or a bit of a turn starting to happen here i hope i'm not imagining it but it kind of feels like so i would say up until this point is okay and just you know judging by the surroundings we can see that there's a little side road here and then there's the turn here so if i was to say that we're more or less in between the two i shouldn't be too far off so let's just double check on that on that angle to make sure that where i put it does match and make sure to put it on the road for better chances of good scores and there we are it looks like it matches absolutely fine i am happy with where i am with points of reference provided so let's send and see if it's another 5k <laughs> and indeed it is one meter away and i'm perfectly happy with that 
so there we go guys uh five beautiful locations uh several different maps and places to show you how to use the compass in order to check the angle of the road uh does come very handy when pinpointing let's say rural bits of road with no surrounding features no mapped out houses no side roads or anything like that as long as you have a little bit of a road bend which is slightly more unique than the rest of the road that will help you a lot i hope <laughs> leave a comment feel free to share this video with those who might need some some help pinpointing with a compass i'm very grateful to the people which are my viewers who taught me how to use this uh this method uh, feel free to drop by and check out my live streams when where we are always sharing tips trying to guess places just get better and share our knowledge thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next video this is one proud penguin saying over and out